I was uh, working in Las Vegas last week. It's the first time I ever went out there, right? And everyone was telling me, all I heard was like how nice it was going to be. Like, dude, you got to go to Vegas. You're going to love it. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> right? And I get there, and it was the most evil place I've ever been to in my life. <laughs> Seriously, I felt like I had like a devil on both shoulders. And they were like battling it out to try to see who gave me like, like a worse suggestion, you know? I'm just walking down the street, and I'm hearing stuff like, smoke some crack. No, get a hooker. <laughs> Going, hey, this is a good town. Smoke some crack and get a hooker. All right. There's an old lady. Push her down. Grab her purse. Do it. <laughs> it was evil. It's like 110 degrees out the whole week, too. Me, a redhead in the middle of the damn desert, right? I couldn't even go outside. All the tan people were like, this is great. Yeah, all right. I go outside, I'm like running from casino to casino. <laughs> Son's like, ooh, look, a redhead. Watch me light him up. <laughs> so all I do is I just stood around. I was like watching people gamble. Let me tell you something. People who play slots have got to be the biggest morons I've ever seen in my life. They're playing a game like a monkey could play. There's no game plan. There's no higher or lower, hit me or stay. They just sit there with a cup of quarters for hours, just sitting there going like this, just going, shang shang, ki, 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 loser. <laughs> Gee, this is a good game. Shang Shang, ki, 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 loser. <laughs> Gee, I need a new strategy. I think I'll go to this one over here. Shang Shang, there. Thank you. So, one cool thing was they, they had like a lot of homeless people out there. You know, I love homeless people. You know, seriously, they're, they're, they're like free entertainment. You know. You know what I'm talking about? Like those crazy ones, like walking around, like talking to Bill and saying, like, My favorite part is when they like start hallucinating, like, the damn thing over here, I just love watching like regular people trying to figure out how they're gonna like get around him on the sidewalk. Oh my God, what's he doing? What's he doing? Oh my God, he's peeing. Get back in the bus, he's peeing. Plus, you know what's cool? Is they don't make me feel guilty. Because I know there's nothing I can do to help that guy. You know, he's, he's too crazy. Seriously, what can I do for that guy? I can give him like the nicest suit ever, shave his beard off. He's still going to walk into a job interview going, <laughs> Sorry, pal, can't you, Jeff? <laughs> so, I have insomnia. I can't sleep at all, you know? So all I do is I just like watch TV at night. You know, you know what I love watching? My favorite things at night. You guys ever check out like infomercials? Infomercials have to be like the funniest thing on TV now. I just love like the whole sales style. Because rather than good cop, bad cop, what do they have? They have like, they have like smart guy and then really dumb guy. Right? One guy knows all about the product, the other guy doesn't quite get what the hell's going on. <laughs> so then he's got to start asking questions. It can be the most basic thing ever. He's just like, hey, Joe, what are you doing? The guy's like, you know, I'm frying an egg. Oh yeah, you're gonna put some butter in that pan? <laughs> I was like, no, I'm not gonna put any butter in the pan. Wait a minute. <laughs> Let me get this straight. You're gonna fry an egg in a pan, you're not gonna use any butter. The guy's like, no, well, won't it stick to the bottom of the pan? The guy's like, not with this pan. Wait a second, hold on a minute here. Let me make sure I got all the information here. You're telling me you're gonna fry an egg in a pan, you're not gonna use any butter, it won't stick to the bottom of the pan? Well, this I gotta see. <laughs> the guy fries an egg and he's going amazing. <laughs> what really annoys me is this moron is supposed to be asking the questions that I allegedly have at home, right? <laughs> like I'm as dumb as he is sitting there, like, ask the question. <laughs> I don't get it, how does it work? <laughs> that guy's an idiot, you could tell him anything. You know what, it's a really strong pan. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna demonstrate now by taking the pan and smashing you right in the face with it. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> you're gonna take that pan and you're gonna smash me in the face with it? Yeah, and I'm gonna bend you over the stool. I'm gonna put it right up your ass. <laughs> well, won't the handle break off? <laughs> now with this pan. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me make sure I got all the information. You're telling me you're gonna take that pan, you're gonna smash me in the face, you're gonna bend me over the stool and put it up my ass, and the handle's not gonna break off? Well, this I gotta see. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> Amazing! But what about the price? <laughs> Listen, my name's Billy Burr. You guys were a blast. Thank you so much for listening. <laughs>